Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I have always opined on this platform that in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. And that everything in politics is normally well planned, well scripted, and executed to achieve a specific political objective. There is no coincidence that almost all opinion polls in this country are placing Raila Amolo Dinga ahead of the Deputy President Dr. William Samaya Ruto. William Ruto has been campaigning to succeed President Ruto Kenyatta for the last five good years. Raila Dinga declared his bid late last year. But Raila Dinga is now leading in almost all opinion polls. Before Raila Dinga declared his bid, the deputy president was leading in almost all opinion polls. Raila Dinga was hardly 20% mark. InfoTrack today released their opinion poll. And that's what I want us to look at. In that opinion poll, Raila Dinga is actually leading by 42%. The deputy president is number two with 38%. Around 10% is undecided, while 5%, according to the opinion poll, declined to answer the question. That's significant because the nation opinion poll also placed Ray Ludinga at 42%. And if you if you go further into the opinion polls by InfoTrack, Raila Odinga is ahead in 20 counties. While Ruto is ahead in 16 counties. Per county, Raila Odinga is also ahead. And you go further to the numbers. According to that opinion poll, Raila Odinga would garner 9.3 million votes. While the deputy president would garner 8.4 million votes, a difference of around 900,000 votes. That's also significant. This opinion poll was conducted, and also pay close attention to this. This op opinion poll was conducted between May 27th to May 29th, just a few days after William Ruto had uh, nominated Rigadi Gashagwa and uh, Raila Odinga had nominated Mapa Karwa. And Ambito, who is the, the, the director or the, the boss at uh, InfoTrack, is saying that the 10%, what I decided, especially, not really 10%, that if you go further, let me just take you there. In the mountain, Mount Kenya, <laughs> in Mount Kenya, William Ruto's figures are now at uh, 52% in the mountain. While Ray Ludinga, is at 27 percent. Sambito is saying that in the mountain, William Ruto's figures reduced because most of those people were now undecided. But those people did not go outright to Raila Odinga. So which means, assuming those people who have reduced, I mean those who are now undecided in the larger Mount Kenya region, assuming majority of them will go with Raila Odinga, then it means Raila's figures will shoot to beyond to beyond 42%. But what was the objective of these opinion polls? Before we go into the objective of opinion, opinion, this opinion poll, let me just share with you figures of uh, previous opinion polls which have also been conducted in this country. Let me just get it. Okay, in, in the in latest opinion polls which have been conducted, InfoTrack is putting Raila Odinga at 42%. Radio Africa Opinion Poll is saying that Raila Odinga is ahead by 47%. The NIS survey is placing uh, Raila Odinga at 60%. The NIS, the one which Ruto is, is complaining about, placing Raila Odinga at 60%. And that NIS, in my view, is the most important opinion poll. Then Ipsos Innovate is putting Raila Odinga at 48%. TEFA is putting Raila Odinga at 42%. Then there's another one called Statistics Kenya, shows Raila Odinga at 55 And then 
hapa kwa ground <laughs> watu wanasema tujaribu mzee so in this video i want us to look at the objective of this particular opinion poll before we do that in case you are watching this channel for the first time please take a second or two click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this youtube will automatically notify you and to the subscribers i want to continue thank you guys for your continued support because without the support this channel cannot be where it is now let us get back to the main issue according to this opinion poll there are around 11 counties which will decide who becomes the next president of the Republic of Kenya. These 11 counties, they are calling them uh, battlegrounds. Let me just, if I can remember, the, there's the two Maasai counties, that is the, the Narok and Kajiado. They are also placing Bungoma and, and uh, Transoia, those four. They are also putting Turkana there, five. They are putting uh, Laikipia there. They are putting in coast, they are putting three counties. They are putting Lamu, Taita Taveta, no, Lamu, Tana River, and Kwale. Those are eight. And also there are some three others. Three other counties they are placing as battlegrounds, where, which can either go to Railaway or can go to Rutoy. But what was the objective of this particular opinion poll? In my view and my own understanding, and by the way, in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please, Take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. But again, you can also click that, that uh, join button. And to the subscribers, I want to thank you guys for your continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Now, what do you think was the objective, political objective of this opinion poll? Number one, I think the main objective was to look at the impact of uh, the choice of running mate, Rigadi Gashagwa and Mathakarwa. And based on this opinion poll, a narrative is being advanced here that the choice of Rigadi Gashagwa was not good for Ruto and that the choice of Mathakarwa was good for Ailodina. And that's why William Ruto's figures are coming down. You see, the moment Ruto named Rigadi Gashagwa and Raila named Martha Karwa, InfoTrack is uh, suggesting that the number of undecided in the larger Mount Kenya region increased. So they increased, but they never went anywhere. So they just increased, so it means they left R Ruto, but they never joined Raila. So probably they are still somewhere waiting. Could this be the reason why we are seeing, I can call it maybe sponsored rejection of uh, Rigadi Gashagwa in the mountain? Because Rigadi Gashagwa is being rejected in the mountain. He's been holding series of rallies. Yesterday he was in Nyeri. At some point they could not even address their supporters. In, uh, in uh, Nyandarwa, Rigadi Gashagwa and his team could not, and this is the truth, Rigadi Gashagwa and his team could not attract a crowd. You know, people were just busy doing their things. They went to, then they went to Kirinyaga yesterday. The team was being rejected. When that's happening, if you are keen, you notice that Martha Karwa is busy. Martha Karwa is being welcomed well in Mombasa, being received well in, uh, in uh, the mountain. Martha Karwa is receiving massive reception across the country, meeting women. So I, want to, I tend to think that the objective of this opinion poll was to show Kenyans that Rigathi Gashago was a wrong choice for the DP. So that's number one. Number two, it's also about the Mount Kenya factor in this election. The truth of the matter is that there is no way William Ruto can succeed in his bid of becoming the next president of the Republic of Kenya if he won't be able to get 85%. This latest opinion poll is putting Raila Odinga, uh, let me just leave alone Ruto's numbers. This latest opinion poll is putting Raila Odinga's figures at 
27%. That's massive. It's putting Raila Odinga's figures at 27%. While Ruto's figures is coming at 52. And we have undecided. Statistically, Uhuru and Raila are looking at 40% of the mountain. At this rate, they might get that. And something tells me that the main thing here is that they want to show that William Ruto's momentum in the mountain has slowed down. His popularity is coming down, pole pole. So the truth is that William Ruto is being told politely that there is no way you are going to become the president of the Republic of Kenya because you are losing the mountain. I hope up to there, Tonelewane. Number, number three, the third objective, there's something also here that the public is being prepared for Raila Odinga's presidency, that the ground Imesema. The ground is now saying that Raila Odinga, because if Raila Odinga was being rejected in the mountain, then mountain now is leaving Ruto to undecided. What are they saying? In my view, these guys are saying that the ground is shifting towards Raila Odinga and therefore ground is being prepared for Raila Odinga. I don't know what to think. But lastly, they are also talking of the fight for undecided. You see, if you are saying that in the mountain, Ruto now has 52, Raila 27. Then the, the rest, majority, are undecided. So which means the contest in the larger Mount Kenya region is now between Ruto and Raila, but about the undecided. And this undecided, the people who will decide is Martha Karwa and Riyadi Gashagwa. But the people are rejecting Riyadi Gashagwa. So what are you trying to tell Kenyans? You are telling Kenyans that the contest in the mountain, in my view, is undecided. And therefore, you guys, you need to figure out how you are going to deal we the undecided in the mountain. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Thank you guys for taking one time. And until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye for now.